The last month has truly been remarkable as I've been watching on Passive. Uh, Ash Mufara did a webinar a couple of days ago and he went over a lot of things that'll really rock your boat. But as I look at on Passive, even with all the turmoil in the world today, uh, over the last month, on Passive has, been, has, has, has continued to grow every day every week, every month. And it really is remarkable what they've been doing. Uh, and, and, and the same goes for on Passive Nation. Uh, we just haven't missed a beat. We've been growing again every day, every week, every month. But I'd like to give a quick synopsis of uh, Ash's webinar yesterday. And, and it, it truly was remarkable. Uh, Ash got very, very uh, animated about where on passive is and where they're going and he talks specifically about the numbers which i will not do today uh, that was more for the uh, the founding members of on passive but it was phenomenal when you start to think about the numbers that on passive is going to be hitting as they roll out to the world um whatever you're thinking today multiply it by 100 because it is just massive but to start with ash Ash talked about his uh, tech team in uh, Bangalore, India. And because of the pandemic, uh, obviously uh, India has shut down. But before that happened, uh, Ash really, really smart about this. He sent his people home with their computers so they could continue to work from home before India got shut down. So in this whole time period, Unpassive has been working to get to that point where they can launch to the world. <clears throat> And uh, they've made great strides in what they're doing right now. If you look at the technical end of Unpassive, all the tools, all the modules that they're making, they're 98% they're done, guys. That part of Unpassive is pretty much done. And what they need to do now is, is really integrate everything together so it meshes and everything works together before they launch it to the world. And in order to do that, Ash really needs to bring the team back together. And, and that is going to happen in May. Uh, India says they're going to open up, I think it's the first week week of May, uh, and Ash will be able to bring the team back and then, and, and then start working on really integrating everything, getting it together so that they can actually launch. But he's also done some, some other things that were, I, th I thought were, uh, were pretty interesting. Um, if you look at the overall uh, industry, online industry, and you look at some of the, uh, the, the large IT companies, informational technology companies, uh, the large IT companies, a lot of these companies, because of what's going on in the world, they've, they, they've started to let people go. And what OnPassive is going to do is really get some of this top tier premium talent that other companies are letting go, and they're going to bring them into OnPassive. And Ash has not let any of his, his talent go. They're still together. And they're going to be adding to that talent so that when, when they can come together in May, that they can really knock this out as quickly as, uh, as, quickly as they can. Now, when we talk about them coming back and, and bringing everything together before the launch, this is not going to take a couple of weeks. It's going to take months to get this done. And that's perfectly fine. I think Ash has the same mindset that I do. When you bring this out, number one, you only have one opportunity to make that first impression. And number two, you want things to be spot on. They have to be dead nuts right. Uh, and, and I know Ash is going to make sure that happens. And, and that's why he's given a lot of the responsibility to the tech team to tell him when all these things are absolutely perfect. But I can tell you, uh, as on passive launches to the world, if you are a GoFounder today, or you are, or you are becoming a GoFounder in the next weeks to come, you couldn't ask for a better a better place to be. And I am going to talk about the numbers just a little bit, just to give you the magnitude of what's happening. But you are in a great place. You know, if you look at on passive, and Ash talked a little bit about this, and you look at it, you look at it three years ago uh, and it, its inception and what they were going to do, and you look at it today, you know, three years ago, they were going to build an automated marketing platform. They were going to put it out there. Uh, our market would have been about 300 million people. 
<clears throat> which which really is a large market and and unpassive the go founders we could have worked that market for years and years and years and done extremely well but that wasn't enough for ash and ash added to the to the to the unpassive vision and because of that vision that ash had today uh, we really have something that uh, the whole ecosystem the whole online ecosystem can use and our market went from 300 million to 3.5 billion <laughs> it's a really really big deal and and because of what ash has done because of how it's been structured because of the talent of the it of the, of the it company it technicians that we have in bangalore this is absolutely phenomenal not only are we going to do extremely well as it launches to the world, but we're going to have such great longevity. You're going to be able to pass on what you've done in on passive to your family. And that's that's really a legacy that I think all of us would love to be able to do. Pass on pass on something that's that's extremely significant that will that will make an impact in our family, our friends, our community. Really, really some cool stuff. So on passive three years ago, 300 million. Today, 3.5 billion market cap. Uh, this is absolutely phenomenal. As we look at what OnPassive is doing, I, I want to go over and, and just look at the uh, the modules, the ecosystem of OnPassive, and, and these are all the modules within the within the uh, marketing platform uh, that is going to be launched uh, uh, as OnPassive launches to the world. This is not everything. There are other things outside of this that the whole community, online community, will want to use. But if we just talk about the, the, uh, the Unpassive webinar service, which is right here, and we compare it with, uh, with another company outside of Unpassive, and that company is Zoom, and, and Ash has talked about Zoom before. And if we look at Zoom, in 2019, they had 10 million customers for that product. And, and that's pretty dang good. Over the course of the last year and some odd months into 2020, that 10, that 10 million users has turned into 200 million users. That's a phenomenal growth rate. And Ash has looked at Zoom, tested Zoom, he and his team. He didn't like it. The product that we have is so far superior to the Zoom product, in, in, in my opinion, in Ash's opinion, and his team's opinion, that just that one module could hold up to 200 million people using that product. Now, as we look at all the different modules in on passive on the automated marketing platform and outside the automated marketing platform, if you could bring in 200 million per module, like, like you can with the, uh, the on passive webinar service, where does that put us and how many people are in on passive using it? What OnPassive has done has, has come, come to a place where everybody online, there's something in OnPassive that they can use. And because of the way it's structured, because of what Ash and his team has done, because they can come in and use a product, and over time the cost of that product goes down, uh, believe me, because of their superior products, because of the way they're structured, Unpassive as it launches to the world, in my opinion, will explode. Now, Ash and his team, they can't guarantee any, but anything. They don't know how many people are going to be on the webinar um, uh, modular or, the, or the, the funnel builder module or the page builder. Any of the modules they have, they, you know, they can't guarantee anything. But as I look at what's going on, what's happening, the quality of work that they're doing, uh, bringing in a million people, 5 million, 10 people, 10 million people, in my opinion, it's a piece of cake. And, and as you look at the numbers that Ash was talking about, <clears throat> it truly is remarkable what's going to be happening to on passive as it rolls out to the world. Now, I cannot get into those numbers on this, on this video. Uh, if I did, they just blow you away. They, they're mind blowing the numbers that they were using the other day. And I just don't want to go there. You know, we, 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 uh, we, we tend to uh, under-promise, over-perform. 
and I can tell you that on passive, on passive, in my opinion, it's going to overperform in ways you can't imagine. So Ash, he did a great job on the webinar uh, uh, on where they're at, the the uh, pandemic, how they're handling that, um, the the amount of market cap that we have. He also talked about the pending founders, and I, I, I really have to tread lightly here. Um, uh, we are on Passive Nation, myself, Marty DeGarmo, and Dan Street. Marty and Dan are my partners and our team. Uh, and I just need to tread lightly when I talk about the pending founders. I, I have done this video earlier in the day, and, and I took it down because I thought, uh, probably said some things I shouldn't have said. I want to get into the pending founders and just give you an explanation of what Ash has done and really leave it at that. I don't want to go any further. The pending founders those positions, those individuals that came in and registered but never paid, those are pending founders. And what Ash is doing, any pending founding position that is older than six months, he is eliminating those people, but he is not eliminating the position. And what he's giving us the opportunity to do is go in and take those positions. We can do that individually, Marty, Dan, and I, or we can offer them to our team. And I'm kind of going to leave it at that. This is a really, really big deal because of the timestamp of the pending founder. Uh, we have pending founders that uh, uh, are over a year old. Uh, and obviously, if you can keep that timestamp and get that, that position, anybody that came in after that, they fall underneath you. And, and in our group, our philosophy is to cut time frames. And anytime you can cut time frames, what that means is your bottom line, you get to the place you want to be quicker. And we always recommend that you do that anytime you can. So the pending founding position, those individuals that the, that, that position is older than six months, they will be eliminated. We have the opportunity to offer those to not only ourselves, but our team. And, and from there, uh, it's really, really, it was really generous, generous of Ash to, to let us be able to do that. Um, because cutting time frames is, I mean, anytime you can do it, you want to do it. Now, before I go on, if you're an individual that can't come in and get a pending position, don't worry about it. It does not matter where you are in Unpassive. When you look at the volume that Unpassive is going to have, the amount of people are, that are going to be coming into Unpassive, not only independent resellers of the IT product, but, but customers. Believe me, 70,000 founders in on passive, 70,000 70, independent resellers of the IT products is nothing. And when you think about a million coming in or 5 million or 10 million the first year, and again, we can't guarantee anything, but I believe we're going to do extremely well in 2020 and it's not even going to be a full year. So, whether or not you can get a pending position and get that, that second position, don't worry about it. Uh, anybody that comes in and gets, a, gets a, a pending position, their second position, remember, all of those individuals, they flow downhill. They flow downhill, left or right, and they are going to fill the matrix because of what they've done. It, it is not a disadvantage for anybody if someone comes in and gets a, 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 another position on one of those pending founding positions. So uh, Ash, as usual, uh, he hit it out of the park. Uh, a lot of the things he talked about, I can't talk about online today. I would recommend if you are a founder, go on back in and listen to that webinar again. It, it's the most powerful webinar I, I've ever listened to. Uh, and it really will put you on cloud nine because the things that are gonna be happening in on passive in a very, very short period of time, absolutely awesome. So, Ash, uh, we, we thank you for coming on and sharing that stuff with us. Uh, if, you're not, uh, uh, if you're not subscribing to this YouTube channel, I always recommend that you do that. Click the bell on the right, and then you'll get notifications. But we will have more in the days and the weeks to come, uh, things that Ash is sharing with us. And uh, we'll have those for you as soon as we know we're going to get them out there. And from there, yeah, get ready. 2020 on passive, it will be revolutionary and it will change lives in a major, major way. That's it for today, guys. Have a, a great weekend and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the inside.